Spencer from the drone videos and he got that brand new DRZ we're all jealous of 2015 beautiful machine today's a big day for me for two reasons today's a big day today. we're actually heading to surgery today we're going for surgery today number number seven surgery number seven uh, my right arm the doctor has been wonderful enough to help me with everything that's been wrong now he's going into my wrist and he's gonna try and clean it up for me and see if he can't get some more rain which is incredible because the whole process has been unbelievable as it was I'm surprised I got so much range back at all so that's really cool I'm gonna cut to a clip from yesterday night I didn't get a chance to upload it where I'm talking about something that happened two days ago um, there was a guy on YouTube put up a video he caught a guy in the mall doing some illegal things and I actually used some facial recognition software to identify this person I used geocaching to look at the Twitter data the metadata um, we were able to spot the reason I was able to find him is because he was a, f a mutual friend of one of my, my friends on Facebook. So I was able to see his photos that way. And look at her, she's looking all sexy like. Look at her mini skirt. Not a mini skirt. Shut up, I can pretend. So guys, what happened last night, I actually, I am the doxer and I feel bad about it. So we found a video of a guy who was pervert, perving on some girls in my hometown, London, Ontario at Masonville Mall. I was sufficiently creeped out by this, so I decided to follow him outside. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. Are those videos that you shoot up skirt for your YouTube channel? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I used geocaching, uh, not geocaching, me metadata, ge geodata, to figure out who he was. I looked, I used a search engine that I'm familiar with that, that searches known geodata in certain areas. And it found his Twitter account with his picture at the mall that day. <laughs> he was posting that he was getting lunch and stuff. So I then linked it back to his Facebook profile, which was attached, and I made the mistake of saying on Reddit, hey guys, this is his, uh, this is his Facebook. Um, so when I saw the video, it was at 132 views. And that was last night. And this morning I woke up and he it has 158,000 views. It's called The Man Creeps at the Masonville Mall or something like this. But, uh, oh my God. So now I guess people have been calling his wife and his girlfriend, uh, his boss, his family. Like, this guy's life is flipped upside down. Cops. C cops? Oh yeah, so the cops arrested him. He's been now charged officially with voyeurism. He's 37 years old and he's following little girls around at the mall and f using his phone to film up their skirts. So he gets what he deserves. He got some of the good guy biker justice, but he got the good guy biker justice from a long ways away from across Canada. And he got the good guy biker justice in the hometown. So don't you be fucking around in the good guy biker's hometown because, you know, we're, we're always watching, but... We're always especially watching in the hometown. Yeah, sure. This is a great spot to turn right, love. Heading over to Spencey's. Spencey's birthday. So if you guys want to wish Spencer a happy birthday, uh, leave a message on this video. I'll put this up tonight. Uh, we'll let, make sure we link him on there so he sees it. And, yeah, no drone footage today. We were going to shoot the burnt down church. But uh, it's, it's raining today, so we didn't get to do that. I'm playing this brand new game called ingress oh i'm so obsessed so part of my back to work schedule my rehabilitation 
is that I need to walk and I've been blowing my goals out of the water. I walked something like 20 kilometers one of the days. I've had this game for three days. It's it's by the developers of Pokemon Go, which is that brand new game coming out, which is Pokemon but in real life. So por this game is basically Pokemon Go, but you hack portals instead of capture Pokemon. But check this out. Something going on over here. Thinking a car accident? Is that what it is? Yup. Oh. A messy one. So that's what happens when you drive like an idiot in the rain. True story. True story. Right, love? And it was him. So whatever. I'll cut to the video. You can see it there. Oh, no. We got the speed bumps coming. This is not going to be easy. But we will definitely try. Hold on. Do you guys want more videos of the tech boards? Of the balance scooters, the hoverboards, whatever you want to call them? If you do, let me know because we got lots. Check it out. No problem. Speed bumps. Eat that shit up for breakfast. No problem. One of the things that are going on in Vancouver right now is the real estate's crazy here. So people are buying real estate like crazy. And they're buying it more as an investment than an actual home. So what you're getting is a lot of this. They're taking all the properties and taking two houses and turning them into one house. And then they're uh, sitting on the houses for a long time until a developer wants to buy them on a lot of the major areas. They're buying, their, they're keeping their house and then they're abandoning it while they live overseas or while they're not in Vancouver. And the houses go to all the hell. I'll show you, I'll show you a couple of what I mean. Recently, my developers bought all the houses and started developing them in this area, which is nice. They're finally getting turned into nice, beautiful houses for people to live in. Last two years, everything's just been going to hell more and more every day. Here's another one under construction. So I jump on the bus to do the vlogs over here for consistency. This is where I've always shot the vlogs. It's a beautiful little ride. It's quiet, the bike path. So I like doing it here. So surgery. So I'm off to the iPhone store right now to get my iPhone 6S. Only because I made the mistake of buying 6 in 16 gigabytes. Because that was all that was available at the time. And now that was a mistake. Never, ever ever buy a smartphone with only 16 gigabytes because the operating system is like six gigabytes five eight point eight gigabytes or something so you know i put a little music on there and i try to record one of these videos for you guys and it's all full you'll see from the video last night i actually filled up my phone by mistake and i couldn't record any more video so by getting the 128 gig it's going to correct a lot of those issues it's also got the better video camera better sensor on it so for the vlogs and things of that nature it, this should help so no more come to you on 720p on this little guy we're moving on up in the world moving on up We now got to the mall, safely and successfully, no problems. Doesn't mind the water a little bit. But yeah, so surgery number nine on my right arm today. They're gonna clean up the wrist. Doctor's going in and getting rid of the bone spurs and the cartilage and all the other junk that's been... Hold on, this guy doesn't look, does he? Oh, maybe? Oh, he looked. Look at that attempt. Look at that attempt, guys. That was a, that was a empty lot with no one on either side and he swung in and made, made his best attempt and... I tell you, man, welcome to Vancouver. That's what you get here. Whoa, whoa. Almost went down there. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit the mall here and we're gonna go get that phone and then we're gonna get, go down to the hospital and get into surgery. And that'll be the uh, afternoon from us. So I might have to end the vlog here, hold on. Time to go pick up the phone. Okay, off to get the phone. Done the mall thing a few times. My favorite is the Oppo over there, but we can't get it today because I go into surgery and I'm not allowed to eat, so that's no fun, but let's go get it. Definitely faster than walking. I feel pretty safe on the tech board, but I wouldn't come to places like a mall that you've had at least for a few weeks. Not only because you could hurt yourself on the floors are slick, but more importantly, if you if you took someone out, you get in a lot of trouble. So you gotta be careful with that. Make sure you don't do something silly like that. Okay, I'm thinking there's a line. I might I may have to get out of here and go to surgery. We'll see. Hello. 
I didn't make the reservation, so... Are you looking to get a new iPhone? Yeah. Great! Uh, you come on in the line here, when you get to the front three, they'll let you know what stocks we have at the time and bring you to the store. Okay, okay I've got a surgery in a couple hours. Okay. Um, I've got to go in for my night surgery on my arm today. Okay. Do you know how long this generally is going to take? I don't know. No idea. Is it worth me attempting? I've got to be there for noon. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I honestly, I don't know how long it will be. We do have uh, people with product reservations. We'll go, be going in first. And then we have people who uh, have come day out for the phone. Do you know how many phones they have available? We don't know. Aside from... Okay. We don't know. Okay. And... Okay, and has the line started moving yet? Oh yeah, the line's continually moving on both sides. Okay. Um, but I don't know how, I can't estimate how long it would be. And is there someone I can ask to see if they still have the 128s available? Uh, you can ask, but the they're going up and down because there are people who have pre-reserved who are canceling their reservations and purchasing them at other stores or canceling their reservation and switching yeah. to a different phone. Yeah. So even if we don't have it right now, we might by the time you get to the front of the line. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll give it a shot, I guess. Sounds good. Come okay. on in. Okay. Okay, so we gotta give it a shot. We'll see. Maybe I'll miss my surgery, but I think I'll have to get out of here first. Surgery is more important. But, uh, getting sick of using this phone. Okay. So, I'm gonna end that here for now, guys, because who knows how long this is gonna take. But I will see you once we grab the new phone. There you go, there's a fast turn for you. I'm doing it. It is dead. Is it dead? I killed your cat, you druggy bitch. God. What? Why? I felt it would bring closure to our relationship.